Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draklitz and in this video tutorial I would like to give you just a simple small example of how awesome Inkscape can be by drawing this vector-based uh, daisy in just a couple of minutes. So let's get started. First of all, I am pressing Ctrl Tab and I'm switching over to a new document that I have uh, already opened and I'm going to be uh, zooming in to the page by pressing 5 and now I want to draw a circle shape here in the middle somewhere in the middle so I'm selecting the ellipse tool or equally I'm pressing E and I'm drawing an ellipse by holding down control so I can constrain it in, uh, to a circle Right now, this ellipse, I'm pressing three to zoom in uh, to my shape here, to my active shape, to se selected shape. This is a shape for the moment, all right. And uh, I want to give it a rather dark blue color. So by pressing Shift Control F and going to the uh, to the fill color attribute, I can actually change the color of the. Uh, of this, uh, you know, uh, of this circle, something like that. All right. Now let's close this window real quick. I want to control D, duplicate it, and I'm doing so because I want to make to uh, draw the petals around this uh, this flower here. I'm switching over to the selector tool by pressing F1 or S. And I want to select this new circle and I'm bringing it upwards by holding down control key somewhere here. Okay, now by holding down shift key and, the, and by grabbing and dragging this handle here, I'm making this a little bit narrower. So I now want to convert this shape into a path. So I'm going up here to the path menu and select object to a path all right you can equally press shift ctrl c now i'm selecting by pressing f2 or n i'm selecting the edit by nodes uh, tool or clicking this icon here so i can directly edit my path by dragging an out a, a rectangle around these nodes here I'm selecting them and I move them by holding down control a little bit upwards Some, somewhere here now I'm selecting the selector tool this icon here or I'm pressing F1 or S and I'm switching over to the object mode. By holding down shift, I want to give it some more thickness on both sides. Now I want to go ahead and control D, duplicate this object, but around this point here, the center of the circle. So where this little high hand icon appears, click once more and you are uh, you have switched over the rotation and skew mode for the handles here. Now you can see there is a crosshair here. I want to uh, bring this just here at the center of the circle. So in order to do this, I want this to snap at the center of the circle. So I'm going up here to the snapping bar and I'm enabling this snap bounding box co uh, corners option and I'm enabling also this button here snapping from end to center of bounding boxes icon so i'm now grabbing this crosshair and i move it somewhere here until a message appear appears and this has snapped now at the center of the circle now by clicking on a handle here and holding down control i can rotate my duplicate first of all i want to duplicate it and I can rotate my duplicate by increments of 15 degrees. So by 3, 
I have moved it by 45 degrees. Now I'm selecting both of them. I'm pressing Ctrl D, duplicating them. Where this hand icon appears, click once more so you have switched over to the uh, to the rotation mode. And by clicking on this handle and rotating by increments, I can rotate them by 45 degrees. Ctrl D. I'm clicking on this icon and I'm rotating by 45 degrees. Ctrl D, duplicate them, and by holding, clicking and and moving, uh, rotating them by 45 degrees. So I now have made this symbol daisy. I want now to select all of them either by pressing Ctrl A or by, uh, by drawing a rectangle around them. And I want to go up here to the object menu and select group objects. Or equally, I can press Ctrl G. Now I have grouped all those uh, shapes here, all those objects, and I now can click and by holding down Ctrl and Shift, I can scale my uh, shape around the uh, center, around uh, its center. So, and I can move it somewhere here on the uh, on the top uh, right of the screen. So now I'm pressing five, so I can zoom into the page, and I want now to draw this uh, filament here. So I'm switching over to the pen bezier tool, which is this one, or I'm pressing B equally on the on keypad, right, B, and I'm drawing a simple curve, something like that, all right, and I'm clicking right, I'm right mouse clicking to confirm so I want to edit this path here by switching over to the Edit by Nodes tool, click on this or pressing F2 or N equally. And I want to select and drag this node here and I want to give it a rather more nice shape. Now I want to make it to have some thickness. In order to do so and make it to have some thickness, all I have to do is to go up here to the path and select path outset. So I have made it this to have some thickness. Now by pressing, by double clicking on this segment, I can add a, a new point here, right? And I can grab and move it in such a way that it really uh, reminds of a filament shape. I want also to border select those points here and move them, right? And I want to make them, uh, to bring them somewhere here and also move those so I can give them a better shape. All right, so now I want this to have uh, a fill color right of of a dark blue fill color like the rest of the of the flower so i'm going to this i'm selecting the selector tool all right and i'm pressing shift control f and i'm bringing this fill attribute here i'm pressing flat color here and immediately you can see that i this has been filled with the flat color i also want to go to stroke and delete the stroke around this uh, filament. So I have made this filament here and I now want to go ahead and add some uh, leaves here to the plant. So let's press 4 to zoom in to my drawing and let's select the ellipse tool and add an ellipse here. By holding down control you can make this something like that. Okay. Right, I want now to convert this into a path. So I want to press Shift Control C and I have converted this ellipse into a path. Now I'm switching to the Edit no Paths by Nodes uh, tool or press F2 or N and I'm zooming in a little bit, selecting this handle here and moving it somewhat so I have given it the shape of a 
uh, of a of a leaf. Now I want to select this handle here, this point here, and convert this into a corner point. I can do this either by selecting this, uh, clicking on this icon here, or equally to press Shift C. So now I have made this a corner point. All right. Now by pressing S, I'm switching over to the selector tool, and I'm Control D, duplicating this. Uh, object. So I now have two objects. Now by pressing H, I'm uh, mirroring, I'm flipping this object around the vertical uh, axis. So now I can move this object somewhere here and I can, by clicking once more inside the handle, where the handle appears, I can rotate it by holding down control if I need in increments. Alright, so I can now go ahead and give it some size, some different scaling perhaps, and even I can go ahead and press F2 or N and start editing its nodes. Alright, so I can give it a more, a different look of a leaf. Something like that. Alright. And of course, almost my daisy is almost ready okay but i want to give it some you know uh, some uh, depth perhaps some perspective so it's time for us to do some uh, vector sculpting i guess so in order to do so switch over to the selector tool select all your objects and by just clicking on this tool which is the tweak objects by sculpting or painting tool or pressing C 2 equally I can now go ahead and start sculpting my uh, my daisy but first I want to make sure this uh, this button here is enabled push parts of or of, of paths to any direction All right so I now can actually click and start interactively uh, you know, adjusting my daisy. Alright, so by pushing and pulling, I can give it some more depth if you prefer, some more, you know, some more definition where I think it needs to. Alright, and so I can make it to look more, uh, you know, uh, real or having some perspective. And of course, I can adjust from up here the width and the strength of this uh, of my brush here. All right, so I we here we have it. You have a nice and uh, a daisy, vector-based daisy, made very easily using the powerful tools that Inkscape uh, is offering us. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time uh, with a hopefully interesting topic. Hopefully soon. Until, hopefully soon. Until then, have fun and goodbye.